Hi everyone, happy at home learning day. Um, it is February 9th, 2021, and it is snowing out. Um, today I'm gonna be posting a lesson on African American artist, Jacob Lawrence. Uh, I'm gonna learn a little bit about him. Um, I'm gonna post some resources to his artwork and there's gonna be a project. Just remember, anything you have for my class, you do is optional, especially in your home, it's optional. If you have things you need to do for schoolwork and you need to catch up, get those done. If, don't put any pressure on yourself to do my work. If you wanna take a break and try it out, I'd love for you to do that. Okay guys, talk to you soon. Jacob Lawrence was born September 7th, 1917 in Atlantic City, New Jersey. At the age of 13, him and his two sisters moved to New York City, where he began an after-school program in art. Jacob started drawing patterns when he was little that he saw on the carpet on his mother's floor. Thanks to some supportive mentors as he got older, he attended the American Artist School. Throughout his career, his main focus was exploring the history and struggles of African Americans. However, he also painted depictions of everyday life. Here is an example of Jacob Lawrence's work. This painting is called The Brownstones. He would just look out his window sometimes at people and places and things and just look for patterns and colors and shapes. He would look at the fire escape and he would see lines. He'd look at people and he would see shapes. And he'd look all around him and look at what colors does he see. Jacob Lawrence is known for using not many colors, but just the right amount of colors he needs to portray a message in his artwork. Take a minute and look at this art and let me know what you might see, what you might think might be interesting, or just how it makes you feel. I think it's a nice busy street full of life and it makes me feel happy. So that's Jacob Lawrence for you guys. There's a lot of information on him. He's a really cool artist to read about. There's a whole lot more to him than what I told you. Um, definitely look him up, uh, look at some of his artwork, learn about him and his role in black history and what his contributions are. I'm gonna post a few links in our classroom. There's also a painting that's hanging in the White House that he made called The Builders. And there's also a story behind that. So I'll post that too. All right, guys, enjoy exploring Jacob Lawrence and let me know what you think. Um, I think I'm gonna post the lesson instructions in the classroom. So be on the lookout for that too. All right, bye.